Formula One on tour in Europe. Unlike for overseas races, the teams travel with their complete set of equipment. But what does that mean? We visit Mercedes AMG Petronas in Brackley, England. My name is David France and I'm Head of Logistics and Property Services here at Mercedes AMG Petronas. We have 23 trucks which travel to the European races. The seven trucks which go to the race team, two of them uh, are built together to form a big engineering office. They're uh, like transformer trucks. Then there's another one which carries the cars and then three more which uh, carry parts and equipment. And finally, a fridge freezer truck which carries the catering food and all the other materials that the catering team need. A full 10 days before the Grand Prix, the Mercedes-Benz Actros leave the factory and head for the circuit. Everything has to be properly packed. Garage equipment, tools, computer kit and telemetry, spares for both cars and pit stop gear. Only the transporter for the cars themselves remains at the factory. Parked in the race bay, they still look far from ready as their setup gets adjusted for every race, using the latest updates adapted to the circuit characteristics. Logistics planning begins well in advance. Around 70 team members have to get to the track, sleep and eat. Lots of formalities need to be completed. A job behind the scenes, not in the spotlight and yet absolutely essential. I generally don't notice too much of the logistics, but I know what a big job it is. It's incredible, just in terms of the freight alone, it's tons of stuff. Just think of everything that has to be organized. It's clearly very, very complicated, and there are a lot of people involved. I really do appreciate the huge job they do. All loaded up, the trucks leave the factory. The team contracts the transportation job to the Eddie Stobart company, generally using one driver per truck. The truck for the racing cars sometimes has two drivers in order to save time. And driving is not all the truckies do. They will do security for us, so they will provide security on the garage 24 by 7. They will provide a shuttle service between the circuit and the airport. The guys muck in and do all sorts of jobs for us during the course of an event. That includes making sure that the trucks always look their best. They're the first things that the visitors in the paddock get to see. After the race, everything's packed up right away. The cars are disassembled by midnight and then they all move on. For back-to-back -back races on consecutive weekends, the time pressure is even greater. With double header, you don't have that luxury. You've got to get the, you've got to get the trucks down on a Sunday night. So it's, it's quite hard work. We get everything packed away, and then uh, a day later, you've got to build it again in the next location. Back in Brackley, final touches to the cars. One final measurement check. Then off to the truck. At the circuit, Nico Rosberg and Michael Schumacher climb into the cars as normal. Their concentration is totally on performance on the track. However, they know that without perfect planning and teamwork at the factory, good performance is not possible. What counts is the whole operation. Not just the weekend itself, not just the race. After the race too, they're really busy. The lads are hard at it until late into the night packing everything away, because as soon as one race is over, it's time to get ready for the next, as the schedule immediately moves on. On straight to the next circuit or back to base. Then, in a few days, everything starts again. Planning, assembling, packing, driving. Routine for the teams, and yet every time a challenge.